Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's me, Dom Fanatic, and welcome back to another Pokemon PU Wi Fi Battle Live Narration Thingy Magic. Today I have a battle against Evan, who goes by the name of Pilo Bacon on Twitter. So if this is you, and I'm afraid I don't know if you have a YouTube channel or not, if you watch this, then leave a comment saying what your YouTube is, because I don't know if you have one. I'm not going to ask you now on Twitter. You don't even know I'm live narrating this, I don't think, but you can probably guess. So. I'm bringing the same PU team as always. I'm probably going to have to start mixing things up soon. Um, so, expect a new team to come around soon. I'm actually working on some new Pokemon, but this guy has got a team full of threats. And he's got a Growlithe. And I am confused as to why he has a Growlithe. Why do you have a Growlithe? I do not get it. I'm also scared that that Nose Pass is going to get rocks up and that will break my sash on my Sneasel. So, uh, you know what, if he wants to put his rocks up, that's fine. He's got a Growlithe and a Zeb Striker. Um, they're gonna they're gonna suffer from rocks, so as long as I can get rocks up, I think I'm good. This guy's team is massively threatening though, so. Oh, he just sent me a tweet saying, good luck, have fun. So I'll, I'll just favorite that, so, so he knows. You know, the acknowledgement. So Evan is issuing a challenge, and he has that cool yellow hat with the buttons on. And I lead off of Torterra. What does he lead off with? He leads off of Clunk, which is his nose pass. That was always going to happen, I guess. But let's go straight for the Stealth Rock. Let's exchange rocks on first turn. Just get things sorted. He can't Volt Switch out either, which is quite nice, because obviously I'm ground type. Maybe he's just some impressive choice banded set that I don't know about. And nose pass is actually really strong, and I have no idea about it. So come on, this oh, he's only battled 12 times. Oh, I reckon that that's a false indicator. He's obviously going to be really good. And I've oh, I'm so close to that 3,000 eggs hatched. And he's got 360 eggs hatched. He's obviously that Poke Jenner. Oh, he's new to this kind of thing. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Either the internet isn't working very well, or he's taking a very long time to think about what he wants to do here. He's obviously scared that I'm going to go for the Seed Bomb or Earthquake. But I'm actually just setting rocks up. And if I was him, he should have Sturdy. Unless he has Magnet Pull. Um, because there aren't actually that many steel types in. I think there's only three steel types, so it make it wouldn't make sense if he had magnet pull. I'm pretty sure this thing gets magnet pull anyway. So what's he want to do? The time is going to run out, and he's just gonna it's just gonna pick a move for him at this rate. I think was it 100 seconds you get? I can't remember. So I picked Stealth Rock. Um, I don't know what he's doing. He took his time. He puts up his own rocks. So after all of that, he just puts up his own rocks as well. You know what, that, I'm cool with that, dude. Um, I only have one sashed guy, so I'm just going to straight up for the Toxic, because I know Nose Pass isn't a Steel type. If I get a Toxic off, please do not switch into Vileplume. That that will that will obviously be nice for him, but it will not be nice for me, so hopefully he doesn't swap. Oh, he swaps. In comes the Vileplume. I'm calling it right now. Hey, feet. Yep. God damn. I would say he predicted that very nicely. But it's obviously a safe switch to make. So now what's he going to do here? He's going to want to go for the poison move. Um, hmm. He might predict my switch and go for sleep powder. Something is Swagmar. We can go into Swagmar and just fire off a nice and powerful overheat. Because I'm pretty sure I don't want to stay around. Rocks are going to hurt though. That's a bad thing. I, if I go for overheat, I'm obviously going to want to be switching in and out a lot. And as I'm a fire type, there you go. Please live a sludge bomb, Swagmar. Yes, okay, so can I live? No, uh, wait, 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 hang on. Yeah, I could live another Stealth Rock switch in. Um, but not after I do Life Orb, so, so that's it. I'm gonna have just, I'm just gonna stay in with Swagmar here and just fire off attacks, because I'm gonna die from rocks if I bring him in. So I could save him for Death Order, but. Oh, why did I even bring this thing in? I could have just gone into my own. Why did I bring Magmar in? Why did I not go into Porygon? That was such a stupid play. Why did I not go into Porygon? It's such a safe switch. God damn it. Oh, and here comes Growlithe too. Okay, he obviously knows that I can't really do much. That rocks are going to help massively. And is he... Oh, he's Flash Fire. Oh my lord. This guy is all over me. So that must mean he's especially attacking Growlithe. But I'm not choiced. If he's seen my videos, he should know I'm not choiced. So, I, I'm... No, he could be a Violite. That's a thing. A Violite is a thing. So what's he going to do? 
Maybe he carries the extreme speed as well, just for that, you know, that safety. But he can't really do anything to me, or can he? I don't know what moves Growlithe gets that are special. But if this Growlithe causes a massive threat, I'm actually going to try and use one of these things. It's such a cool idea. I haven't even considered using Growlithe yet. This guy's put me in a really tight corner. So actually, oh, I could have used the opportunity to actually switch. God damn it. God damn it, I could have used that chance to switch. Because I didn't take any life off damage and I can live another. Oh no, but if I stay in, I can hit off more hit. Oh, I don't know. Because if I bring it in, I'll only have enough HP left where I can hit him with one thing. So I'm just going to focus blast it hits. So he's going to do some good damage, hopefully. Oh, it takes that thing out. Wow. So Growlithe didn't actually get to do anything. That's a real shame, because that was one thing that I wanted to see what happened with. Because obviously no one uses Growlithe in PU. Maybe there's a reason to use Growlithe, and maybe there's a reason to not use Growlithe, as shown, but never mind. Um, I'm not really too bothered if Swagmar goes down, though. I have got Ice Beam on my Simiport, and I have got Captain Brave Bird, and I have Sneasels. So basically, all of my attacking Pokemon can hit Vile Plume hard. And also, what, what else do I have? Um, Whelp. Why <laughs> just treat me saying Whelp Gra by Growlithe? Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. But um, I kind of expected it to live. I expected him to be a Violite and maybe take it. But obviously not. So what's he going to do now? He likes taking his time. Which I guess is kind of okay, because that's what you're going to do. It's tactical. But, yeah. Stupid autocorrect. <laughs> yeah, it did. It did correct that incorrectly. Right, what can we do here? Come on. I need to, yeah, I'm going to try and do this. I need to stop moving. I'm like really jittery and moving around, so I'm trying to make sure I stay as close to the microphone as possible. Wow, he's just, I'm really bad at speed tears. I don't know anything about speed tears, dude, so. I don't know anything about them. Either. Haha. It's mostly luck. Okay, this this thing is annoying. Um, you could, I, I mean, Torterra is a safe switch. Is this thing. That is that is certain. But this Zeb Striker is going to outspeed. Zeb Striker is a massive pain because it's so fast. And obviously, if you put choice specs on that thing, and then run, I'm pretty sure he gets Lightning Rod. Oh, he's a physical variant. Okay, that that's good too. And that probably confirms he has Flame Charge, but I can take Flame Charges pretty well. And recoil, obviously. So he's gonna be—he'll be banded. He's definitely gonna be banded. So Deku is gonna be the safe switch, I think here. So we'll see what he does. I mean, he's gonna want to go into Vile Plume. He must be choice. He's not Life Orbs. What else would he be? I'm gonna take a risky play here and go into Delsin, predicting him to go into Vile Plume. And if he doesn't, then well, I'm stuffed. Because, yes, he did. He withdrew. Oh, it's called Deborah. He withdrew Deborah the Zebra. And he can. Yes, okay, that prediction. That prediction is real. Well played by me. I'm going to call. I, I'm saying that was well played by me because I predicted this switch. It was kind of obvious switch, but you know what? It's a good one, nevertheless. Now, Delson here is to F the S up. Now, I could go for the knockoff and expect him to switch, but I'm just going to go straight up for the Ice Punch because I do not want to play any games here. I'm sure he'll want to keep that thing around. I want that thing dead. Even though I can take it out with any of my offensive Pokemon, I want that thing dead still. So he does withdraw, and I don't know what he has that can resist the ice. Oh, Clunk, obviously. Right, please do a good amount of damage. This thing's going to be a Violite, so it's going to do, like, nothing. I don't want to keep switching in and out my Sneasel, so I could take one for the team here and go for the knockoff. I might actually be able to take a... Uh, a, a rock move from this thing, depending on what its investment's like. So I knocked off the Violite, and I guess for the Thunder Wave, oh wow, that's not good at all. That is not good at all. Okay, well, never mind. I knocked off this thing's Violite. I probably get, still going to be faster than this. So let's just go up for the Brick Break and uh, see what happens now. Thunder Wave is definitely annoying. I completely forgot this thing can learn electric. It gets like, well, no, even though I mentioned Volt Switch, it also gets a Zap Cannon as well. I'm going to run a specially attacking Nose Pass with Zap Cannon. I've warned you now, if you see me use the Nose Pass, be scared. Because I'm pretty sure it also gets Power Gem and probably Flash Cannon. Actually, this thing's moveset might be quite good. Because it gets Volt Switch as well. So if anything threatening could come in, I could just Volt Switch out. I am going to try it. I'm actually going to try it. Be afraid if I bring a Nose Pass. 
So he's going to withdraw Clunk. I don't know what... Is he going to set up something on me now? Tiger. What's this? Okay, well, uh, I didn't go for anything that great. I just went for the Brick Break. How much damage is that going to do? Not much. Okay, I could go into Torterra here. I still have Ice Shards. So I have a feeling Delson is going to be helpful still. And I don't actually carry the Earthquake. I carry the Seed Bomb, so I'm pretty confident I can take this thing out. And he can't get any critical hits. No matter how much he wants to crab hammer or whatever he wants to do, superpower. So, um, it goes for the- Oh, the predictions! Well, not really prediction, but... Oh, I took it. I took that. It's fine. It's fine. Forever, and I can take this thing out. He's going to be scared. He is going to be really scared. So he might actually predict me to... I'm just going to synthesis to play it safe here. He might predict me to predict him to go into Vile Plume. Because obviously that thing is is a massive threat. Well, not a threat, but it's annoying for my um, for my Torterra. If I had Earthquake on this thing, right, so Synthesis, because the switch into Vile Plume, yep, okay. So I could have actually swapped around again, but um, I didn't. I'm going to go for Synthesis, predicting the switch. So I think I'm going to go... Uh, what, what do I want to do here? Because... He could Sludge Bomb and take out my uh, Sneasel, which is probably what I'm going to let him do. Yeah, it's going to Sneasel. I mean, I have got my special wall, but I can't do anything to him. I could Magic Coat, but if he uses Toxic, it doesn't affect him. If he uses Sleep Powder, it doesn't affect him. So, I'm in a bit of a sticky situation. And Delson, if you live this... No, of course you don't. Never mind, uh, I didn't expect you to. Now, the, the pain train is here. The pain train is coming in. Right, Kong. Let's do this, Kong. Ice Beam it up. Because Ice Beam is going to hurt anything that wants to come in. Or wants to be hit, basically. Now Growlithe's gone, anyway. Because what's he got? This thing? Zeb Striker probably can't take it, but it's faster than me. It, Zeb Striker is definitely faster than me, so. What's he going to swap into here? What's he got? Pea Meal. Uh, oh, Grumpig! Oh, that thick fat, that prediction. Okay. I need to keep Kong around. Definitely need to keep Kong around. And that did very little. Oh, he's obviously Assault Vest. So he is going to be able to go for some attacks. I need to keep Kong. I need to keep Staravia. Staravia will be handy as soon, as soon as that Nose Pass is gone. Staravia is here to clean up for me. That's, that's pretty much for sure. Trace. Let's trace that nice thick fat. So now I get the resistance to all their moves, and this is going to do very little, I think. Okay, oh, that, that was a crit. Wow, I took that so well, considering that was a crit. I could go for the Thunder Wave. Let's go for the... What's he going to do? I don't know. Let's go for a Thunder Wave. If he goes into his Zeb Strike here, I'm going to Rage Quit, because I've gone for the Thunder Wave. Do not go into Deborah. All right, he's brought in Hay Fever. That's fine. This, uh... This might actually help a bit. Help a lot, actually. That's that's for sure. That's fun to wave. Um, and now I'm scared as what he's going to do because he could. He's got. He could put me to sleep. Freely put me to sleep. Unless I want to swap out into. Oh my god, what do I want to do? This thing is such a pain. I might let him put Terabyte to sleep. And then let's just try attack. Oh man, I shouldn't have paralyzed him. I should have just gone for the tri attack and hoped I got like a, a burn. That would have been nice. Yeah, I'll let him put me to sleep. And then he's going to want a sludge bomb. So, I don't, uh, I don't know what to do. He's going to have moonlight or synthesis, isn't he? So, so he's used sleep powder, sludge bomb. I don't know. Oh, wow, look at Porygon's eye while it's asleep. That's funny. Um, this guy this guy has put me in a really sticky situation. A new vile plume would be a pain. I could have swapped into Torterra, yes. But then obviously he's just going to be able to fire off sludge bombs all the time, so... We're going we're gonna to get Stork in like a really... St oh, he's got Giga Drain. Okay, so maybe he doesn't have this emphasis. I'm not swapping. I am not switching. I would rather you take down my Porygon uh, before I do anything else. So I think next turn, actually. I am just going to go straight up for the Hydro Pump next time. With my Simipore. Well, he might predict that. So, yes, Paralysis. Um... I don't know what to do. I'm in a really sticky situation. Because it's obviously going to go into... I, I really want to bring in Staravia, but he's obviously going to bring in his... Um... Alright, what's he doing now? He's going to use this as an opportunity to do something clunk. 
What's he going to be able to do to me now? I'm quite worried. Okay, so... What's he going to do? I'm going to try this. Let's try the magic coat. See if I can reflect some... Yes, I woke up! Please do something. Like... I don't know, Thunder Wave. That'd be kind of funny. Volt switch. Okay, he volt switched out. So I, I don't really know what the point of doing that was. If I'd have recovered there, that would have been cool. But he's going to bring back in his... Uh, What's it called now, isn't he? He's gonna bring in his. I can't remember what it's called. Zeb Striker, this one. Deborah the Zebra, as I call it. Come on, Porygon is saving me here, but I just. I need a free switch. That's all I need, a free switch. Magic Coat Porygon. Yes, okay, he obviously hasn't seen me use this before, so that, that's nice. I was really hoping to go for Thunder Wave or something. Although I don't know why he would want to. Oh, Kingler's here. The Kingler is here. Um, right, let's go back into Deku because it's safe. Safe switch in on this thing, and yeah, safe switch. Right, I think he's gonna want to switch out after this, even if he wants to go for the X Scissor. Crab Hammer, no crits today, buddy. That's an even less than X Scissor. Wow. Um, right, so is he going to swap into Hay Fever? That is, because I could take a make a really ballsy play here. No, I'm going to go into Kong, because obviously I resist the Crab Hammer. So, yeah. Let's go into Hay Fever. I could even go for the Ice Beam, just to be safe again. I can afford it. I can afford it to happen, so... I'm pretty sure I Thunder Wave. Did I, what did I Thunder Wave again? Oh, it's Vileplume. He swapped into that, didn't he? He's predicting... He's obviously expecting me to switch. And I'm expecting him. He's choice. He's definitely choice. I think he's probably a choice Scarf Kingler. But his team is slowly taking damage. His Kingler, every time he brings in his Kingler, it's closer to dying. Every time he brings in his Nose Pass, it's closer to dying. Yes, okay, he swaps. Now, is he? what's he swapping into? Hay Fever? No, nope, Pea Meal. He swaps into Grumpig. That's fine by me. And I swap into Simi Paw. So what, what's going to happen here? He's obviously the Assault Vest variant. Definitely Assault Vest. And I need to keep Kong around. Because Kong doesn't take too much damage from Stealth Rock. I'm feeling like I can easily switch into Terabyte now, because I really do not want to take anything. And if this thing for some reason gets Pursuit and he's running it, then I would cry. But he's not, so it's fine. Alright, Terabyte, do your thing. Take this attack like you were meant to. And then be faster than the pig. Be faster than the pig. Oh, the Psy Shock. The predictions. Oh, Terabyte died. Right. Here comes Staravia. The U-turn. No, not Deku. Staravia's got enough health left. Because it's Truth Banded, there's no Life Orb Recall, which is very nice. I know Stealth Fox is going to screw me over a bit. It stops me from using Brave Bird as much. But, the U-Turn might help me a lot here. So, what's going to happen? Man, this is the closest PB battle I've had in ages. I don't actually think I've lost in ages either. So, I've just talked that up. Right, he, he swaps into his... Uh, what's it called? Yep, he swaps out into that thing. That was obvious. He's making the obvious but safe plays. Hopefully he... Is he going to die here? That's the thing. He is. I actually killed him with a U-turn, which is not really what I wanted. Um, so, actually, now I get the switch into... Oh, no, but he gets to go first, doesn't he? Hmm. Uh, if I go into Kong, he's going to go into... He's going to go into his Zeb Striker. That's that's a problem. He could even be Sap Sipper. Zeb Striker gets so many good abilities. He gets Sap Sipper, which means it... Oh, yeah, that was obvious. He was obviously going to... Oh, wait, he brought this thing in. Okay, he's definitely Scarfed. There is no question about it now that he is definitely a Scarfed one. So now... Oh, I can't live two Crab Hammers after Stealth Rocks. I doubt I could even live two Crab Hammers anyway. What's he going to go for, though? Probably go for knockoff, actually. Uh, which is not good either. He's actually making a really ballsy play. If he's not scarfed, I'll outspeed and I could take him out with something nice and powerful. So let's go into Deku here. Eat up that Stealth Rocks because it's not very effective. And what's he going to go for? X Scissor. Alright, how much damage does this do? Uh, uh, I hope he gets the minimum roll. Please get a minimum roll on the next one. Crap, misclick. 
He misclicked. Well, it was a very good misclick, all right. Because it obviously right synthesis. X is a please. Do not kill. Come on, Deku. Be clutch. Yes, the minimum damage roll is real, and the synthesis is here. Come on. Oh, that makes me so happy right now that I actually managed to live that. Okay, so Deku lives to tell the tale. This is a really tight... Wow, it's 20 minutes long as well so far, this battle. Almost. What to do? I want this Kingler gone. This Kingler needs to be gone. What's he gonna... He's going to switch, isn't he? He's obviously going to switch. I should have synthesis again. Oh, no, he stays in. Good. I'm glad I did seed bomb again. Please. Oh, he can't... I was going to say, please, no crit, but he can't. Because shell armor... And that thing's gone. Yes, that thing is so gone. Oh, it makes me so happy. All right now, so what? Hang on, what's dead? I've killed. So it's three versus three. I still have Kong left. And I still have Staravia left, and I'm pretty sure I can outspeed. Oh no, his thingy's still around. Oh, why is his Seb Striker still around? P meal. What can he do to me now? P meal. Um. Parting gift. Psychic. Please live, Deku. That would be nice. Oh, I died. Alright, so it's two versus three now. And he still has Zeb Striker left. My team is really scary. I've, I've lost this. because I can't outspeed that Zeb Striker. That's the worry. Unless he swaps into Zeb Striker now... Then, then there's a chance. Where well, there's a will, there's a way. That's what I... I can't even lock myself into Brave Bird now, because I will kill myself to recoil. So he withdraws. And what's he going to do? Hay Fever. Yes, okay. So I can actually lock myself into Ice Beam here. Because I'm pretty sure uh, another load of Ice Beams are going to hurt this thing a lot. And wow, you turned on so much damage. Maybe. Just Maybe. There's, there's a way. Maybe there is a way. After Stealth Rocks, I reckon two Ice Beams can take that thing out, and Ice Beam will take this thing out too. I don't want to lock myself into... Right, let's just go for Ice Beam, because I can take out that Grumpig after Stealth Rocks, and two loads of whatever. So let's uh, probably stay in as well, just so I can get as much recoil off from that... Uh, Zeb Striker as possible from the wild charge. So here comes Deborah. That choice band quick attack is not going to be able to take that thing out though, is it? From that range of health. It's not going to happen. That's all I can hope for. Maybe he'll... There's no reason for him to over predict because mo both my Pokemon are weak to electric that are left. Oh man, why? Why? Do some damage. Do a lot of damage to yourself here. Okay. Choice band quick attack is my only hope. And I need a crit. I really, really need a crit right now. Please, Lord Fufu, Hacks God, give me that crit that I oh so need. He withdrew. He withdrew! Why did he withdraw? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? That stealth rock damage might help. Oh, this quick attack. Yes, I'm going to be able to do this. Why did he switch? Lord Fufu, you came through! Oh, Lord Fufu, please! Oh, there was the crit! Uh, oh my lord, is this about to happen? Is that misplay going to cost him the battle? This has definitely been one of the closest battles I have had in ages. Unless this thing gets quick attack itself... Oh, he's running quick attack on it, isn't he? Live! No, he has got quick attack! Live, Captain Brave Bird! No! <laughs> he knew! He knew what was coming! Oh, that was such a good and fun battle. I actually lost as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, you send through your smirk, little GG. That is the best P battle I've had in absolutely ages. There is no reason to save that. Such a good battle going up on YouTube later. That was so good. That was such a fun battle. That goddamn vile gave me all sorts of problems. But thank you for that, uh, Pilo Bacon slash Evan. I hope you uh, enjoyed that battle because, well, he said GG. So it was obviously it was a very good game. Hopefully, you guys won't hit your seats during that. I was silly that I 
lost the magma so quickly. That thing would have been a lot more helpful if I kept it around. Um, so yeah, but that's all. Of, oh, pardon me, a thing of the past. Um, other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's quite long, which is uh, it, it's what to expect from a live battle, especially when there was so much thinking going on in that battle. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. I definitely did. And uh, if you liked the video, obviously leave a like, subscribe if you're not. Uh, other than that, I can't think of anything else to say, so I will see you guys later. Goodbye.